last of the eBay breaks here for today. 2018-19 Donruss Basketball. Five box half case number 10 for eBay. So let's get it going. Here we go. This is the last of the eBay breaks for today. So Juventus, once I'm done with this, I'm going to start uh, showing some love in the store. Already flawless college basketball down to eight spots left. I think we can fill that tonight. Rookies and Stars football. Uh, half case, which is seven box, uh, seven boxes. That is down to 18 teams. And we're also giving away 10 Cyber Monday packs randomly uh, in that break once we fill it. Prism football, I'm sorry, Prism basketball, four box PYT number three down to 14 left. I'm pretty sure we get that cracking. Immaculate football, 14 and 15. 14 is down to four, 15 is down to six. So I'm pretty sure we can knock that out tonight as well. Playoff football, five box break number two with a $50 giveaway. That's down to 12. So let's uh, let's get it going, people. Let's get it going. Go to RimCityCards.com. Pick up your teams already, folks. What are you thinking about, Juventus? I got what you need in the store, baby. Check us out, RimCityCards.com. You want a nice Barkley Auto for uh, for a little fool's ball? Well, I got Rookies and Stars football. I got Playoff football. Immaculate football. Check it out, man. RipCityCars.com. And here, look. I'll even go so far as to take some of the work out for you. Here's a link in the chat. You don't even got to type it in. All you got to do is click on the link. And check out all the gloriousness we have in store. All right, let's knock this out. And good luck, everybody. Let me adjust this, though. I heard Bradley Beal has requested a trade. I don't know if that's true or not. Really, Aaron? Nice. That's good news for me. All the more reason to fill those prison basketball breaks. Because I'm giving away the Mavericks in those breaks. All we have to do is fill it. Uh, Zvi of the Lakers 289. I don't even bother pronouncing his last name because I can't. Oh, I remember Donruss all right. Base cards like a mother. Sun's got a nice young team, man. I've been telling y'all. So do the Mavericks. Don't sleep on the Kings either. Bagley might be uh, might be struggling right now, but not for long. Watch out for them boys too, man. A lot of young talent in the NBA. Period. I I, I like it. I really like it. It's gonna be weird once LeBron retires. I think he'll play for at least another four years. At least, right? Bio says he hasn't asked for a trade. Yeah, because it's been all over social media. So that's why I figured it was a lie. But you never know with those things, man. There, there's always a little hint of truth there. Oh, boy. A lot of cards in this stuff. Stop complaining, Uncle Jesse. I can't help myself. I really, I can't. Just trying to get through this quickly. Jim Barnett, Warriors autograph.
Any good games on tonight? Whether it's hockey or, or basketball, I know hockey season is in full effect. I really, I want to go watch a game. I did see that thing, Dan. I did. Did I pull that for you? I remember I pulled the DiMaggio booklet earlier this year. I don't know if it was that one. If it, I think it was 2016 Flawless or something, I, I can't recall, but it wasn't one on one, it was pretty, pretty disgusting. Really, Aaron, huh? That's a bold statement right there. This is a press proof 349 Grizzlies, uh, Jermichael Green. Ah, I got you, Dan. Actually, no, it might have been NT. I don't know. Anyways, you would remember if I pulled that for you anyway. I, I did see the picture, though. It was a, a booklet with a, with a cut signature on there. Very nice. Are you? I did pull a DiMaggio 101, and I'm pretty. I think it was 2016 NT as well. I'll find it if it. This is our Rip City. Uh, what you call it? Instagram. Bro, there it is. Yeah, see, this one's different, but it's still a 101. It's also from 2016 NT Baseball. I don't know whose is nicer, but I'm gonna say mine is nicer because I pulled it. We don't we don't talk about other breakers on here, Dan. We we don't talk about other breakers. All right, what else we got here? Eric Gordon to 99 Rockets. I know, Dan, I know. I'm trying to stay organized here with all these cards. I don't think Kawhi would want to play with LeBron, though. Kawhi seems he's like Kyrie. He just wants to be on his own team. That's that's the feel I get anyway. KD and LeBron would be interesting. I've been hearing that too. That uh, KD's thinking about leaving and signing with the Lakers in the offseason. I don't think that'll happen. But who knows? Carmelo needs to retire. Clippers got a really good team, low key. Doc Rivers coaching them boys up. Grizzlies got a nice squad, too. A lot of teams coming up. Uh, Coming up slowly here. Yeah, I think so too. I, I I don't really see a reason for KD to leave. He's he's got it made in the shade out there. Harrison Barnes, three forty nine Mavericks. Sarek, 189 Sixers. Where did he go, man? He got traded. Who was he playing with? The Timberwolves? Which I heard. 
I heard that uh, what you call it? I think I read somewhere that uh, since Jimmy Butler left the Timberwolves, they have the number one ranked defense in the NBA. I don't know if that's true or not because you know internet. But if that is true, interesting. I heard Boogie's play uh, is healthy now. Is he finally playing? Uh, as far as how many cases of Immaculate Football, Dan, I think I have the one in the store, and I think that might be it. However, once I'm done with this break, I'm gonna go in the closet and uh, see if I can find us another case of Immaculate Football. But from my knowledge, I think that's the last of it. Macal Bridges on card autograph for the Suns. Very nice. Oh, Boogie still can't play? I thought he was good to go. Anyways. I want to see what that team looks like. With Boogie playing for the Warriors? Oh, man. Although Curry's still banged up. That boy always hurt. I don't know, man. I, I, you know, one thing you got to take into account with those Achilles injuries is they're really bad if you're like if you depend on athleticism. If that's your bread and butter, you know, tearing your Achilles probably gonna you know end your career. But Boogie, Boogie was never athletic at all. Boogie's all. Not for nothing. Boogie Boogie's footwork is pretty good. Fundamentally sound. You know, he's a bit of a hothead. But, you know, he's he's got he's got great post moves. You know, his footwork is there. I think he's gonna be fine. How he's gonna fit in that offense, though, remains to be seen. Well, I mean, Aaron, he's still young. He's still young, you know what I mean? And like Michael says, he's not going to be dribbling up and down the court. You know, I, they're going to keep him in the post, you know, hover around that paint. And, you know, that, that'll, be his, that'll be his job. Protect the rim and get rebounds. And then if he is healthy, you know, put him in the offense. Throw, you know, throw some, throw some offense his way. But you know, it's we'll, we'll all find out together. I think he'll be well. I think he's gonna be an improvement over Javale, man. Exactly. What's up, Revolting Blob? Like Revolting Blob says, they're gonna ease him into his role because they, you know, they're great without him right now. I, I do think he's going to be better than, than McGee, though. McGee is not nearly as good as Boogie offensively. Like, nowhere near close. Oh, ja JaVale definitely doing his thing in L.A. Him and Tyson Chandler. But, like, if we're talking offense, man... JaVale McGee is not even in the same, like, I can't, bro, it's, 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 it's night and day. But again, you know, my thing with the Achilles is he's still young. He's still young. So, you know, I think he'll be all right. I, I really do. I think he'll be fine. I hope so, man. You know, I, I don't want the kid to. To have his career ended, you know, so so abruptly. I like Boogie, man. He's a bit of a hot head, but you know, I, I like the kid. Jared Vanderbilt, three forty nine Nuggets. Oh, for sure, Blob. I, I would definitely, dude. I would take McGee with a bad McKe with a bad Achilles over Whiteside. 
you know, people forget Boogie Cousins, arguably, probably the best center in the NBA before he got hurt. Better than Embiid? <laughs> I would argue, yeah. You know, but McGee, uh, I'm sorry, not McGee, but uh, Boogie is the last of a dying breed, man. There's not many big men like that in the NBA anymore. You know, now nowadays big men are shooting threes, which Boogie can shoot the three, but, you know, he's still first and foremost a low post player. I just, I really want to see what that team looks like. This should, it should be fun. Josh Jackson, 189 Suns. <coughs> What's wrong with Curry anyway? Did he break his ankle again? That boy stayed breaking his ankles. You know who did break his ankle though? Lonzo Ball. <coughs> 299, Jacob Evans of the Warriors rookie badge auto. Dude, I really, I like, you know, the Suns got a really nice team, man. DeAndre Ayton is a beast. And he's only like 19. Well, Blob, after this is the last of my eBay breaks. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to focus on the store. It looks like 2018 Immaculate Football. Closest to filling. So I'm going to work on that. Or whatever's closest to filling. And then we'll just knock breaks out right there. <clears throat> I'm a little disappointed that Marvin Bagley hasn't been uh, more of a factor. But I'm not surprised. You, you know, you got to give the rookies time. How about Luka Doncic, though, man? That kid is... I don't think any I don't think anybody expected Luka Doncic to be that good this soon. I know I didn't. I thought he was in a struggle getting used to the American game, but he's hit the ground running, bro. Running that Mavericks offense. And Coach Carlisle, not for nothing, he doesn't really trust young players, so for him to to put the ball in his hand speaks volumes right there, man. People forget Coach Carlisle is one of the better coaches in the NBA. Press proof there for Oladipo. That Dwight Howard situation is kind of messed up. Kind of feel bad for the guy. Ever since he left Orlando, his career has just gone. Hold up. There we go. Pull my sleeve up. Clay Thompson, 349 Warriors. Who's the rookie of the year so far in the NBA? It's got to be Luka Doncic. So here's a better question. Who's the second best rookie in the NBA? In my opinion, I think it's not even close. Luka Doncic right now, rookie of the year. Well, who knows? Maybe Ben Simmons will win it again. Who knows? Eight and hands down, second best rookie or rookie of the year? Press proof, General Robinson Clippers. De'Aaron Fox, 349 Kings. This kid's been balling like crazy this year.
Okay, Aaron, I see you. It has it has nothing to do with the fact that you're a, that you're a Suns fan, huh? Chugging water since I've been sick like crazy. Jamal Murray, 189 Nuggets. Jeremy Lin of the Hawks autographed to 49. He's in its Nets uniform, but it does go to the Hawks. Alright. What else we got? Alrighty. In other news, has anybody played Red Dead Redemption online? It's uh, it's officially uh, up and running now. If you played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 on, re on the, the day it released, you now have access to online. I know I got gamers in here. How many of y'all have uh, done that yet? I'll probably do it this weekend when I have time. I'm still in chapter one, man. I've been I've been milking that game, bro. That game is so amazing. I'm having a tough time deciding what would be the game of the year. To me, it's it's a three way it's a three headed race between uh, Spider Man, God of War, and Red Dead Redemption Two. All three amazing video games. So, I, I don't know. It's been a really good year for video games. You're in Chapter 2. Dude, I'm t there's so much to do in that game. There's only six chapters, from what I hear. There's only six chapters. So, that's why I'm trying to take my time with it. You know, like, and it's hard because on YouTube, I'll get a, I'll get a bunch of, uh, like, rec like, recommended videos and stuff, because YouTube knows I'm a nerd, so they'll be like, oh, these are the top 20 things to know before you play Red Dead Redemption 2, or whatever. So I'm just, I'm just milking it, man. I'm not even... Like, I'm still in the camp. Well, I think you're... I don't know how long you're in the camp, but anyways. I've just been doing, like... I'm just exploring, really. Exploring the whole map. You know, I... Uh, I discovered this one house. This dude, uh... This dude invited me in... For like a drink or something. And I'm trying to get my honor. You know I'm trying to be honorable. You know I'm trying to be an honorable guy. So I'm like you know sure whatever. You know I'll have a drink with you guy. Oh that was a mistake. I, I should have known better. Dude knocked me you know upside the head. Next thing I know. I'm in the you know I'm in the back of his house. In a ditch somewhere. And I'm walking funny. So of course I had to go back and uh, 
you know, do something about that. But anyway. Gotcha, Blob. Whatever, okay. Whenever you do a mission with him, it's about to go down. Trey Young for the Hawks, he's been pretty good this year too for a rookie. I thought he was going to struggle. But he's been he's been doing his thing. A lot of good rookies, man. That game is so detailed, man. That game is awesome. That'll probably win game of the year. Uh, Jarrett, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we ship him in our eBay breaks. Otherwise, they just sit here, collect dust. It's way too expensive to ship them, brother. And sometimes I eat them, Michael. Sometimes I eat Not all the time, sometimes. Don't, don't, come on, man. Don't, don't tell everybody that. Then, then they're going to be like, hey, that's the guy who eats cards. That was one time. And I'll probably never do it again. Unless you give me money. Um, unless you give me money. I'll do anything. Well, just about anything. Remember? Joel Embiid, Sixers, uh, press proof. Dwayne Deadman to 199 Hawks. We also give away the base cards in some of the eBay breaks. Like, regardless of whether your team hits or not. We send you a, uh, a random base card in the eBay break, so that's something else we do with them. And now that it's really cold, I don't know, I might do a bonfire in the garage or something. I'm joking. I would not do that. The fire department would hate me if I did that. Yup, Aaron, my boy uh, my boy Fitz told me earlier on Breakers, Kyle Korver got traded to the Jazz, but he didn't give me any details. Cavs are getting Alex Burks for, uh, for Kyle Korver. Hmm. I don't know who got the better end of that deal. I don't know what the Mavericks are thinking, getting old-ass Kyle Korver, who all can do is spot up and shoot a three. Jalen Brown, 349 Celtics. How about the Celtics, though, man? Celtics are a, dare I say, huge disappointment so far this year. You know, I thought they were going to run away with the Eastern Conference. Has not been the case. And you want to know why? Two words. Kyrie Irving. They got to trade that guy, seriously. Trade him and Howard. Oh, uh, Hayward, I mean. Antoine Walker, speaking of the Celtics, autograph right there for him. Tippy toe three. Man, what happened to Thom Maker? Thom Maker was doing was doing okay, and then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Dante Divincenzo, one eighty nine bucks.
trade Kyrie and Hayward to the Knicks for Porzingis. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be a sick trade. <coughs> yeah, this is a press proof. Russell Westbrook of the Thunder. Kemba Walker turning himself into a superstar. He's always been a really good player, but this year he's taking it up another step. You think they're waiting for next year, Blob? I think they need to make a move now, man. I think they should make a move now. Why wait till next year? Goran Dragic of the Heat to 99. The Heat should make moves too, man. Try to, you know, pick up as many draft picks or something as we can because we got to start over, bro. I hate to admit it, but as of right now, the Heat are going nowhere, man. Later, dude. I'm sick, so have a good one, bro. Markel Fultz, I feel I feel sorry for the kid, man. Honestly, I think that's all in his head. I really do. I think that's all in his head. But you know, only he knows what he's dealing with. Jerome Robinson Clippers autograph. You know Lavar Le Levar Ball. <laughs> Somebody asked Lavar Ball. I don't know when. I want to say it was like yesterday or something. I've seen it today on Instagram anyway. But somebody asked LeVar Ball who was better in college, uh, in, in high school. LaMelo or LeBron? And LeVar says, of course LaMelo. It's not even close. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever that guy's smoking, I want some of it. Because, man, like, yo, I, yo, I, I understand being a good parent and all that, but come on. Norman Bagley, Kings press proof. George Hill, 349 Cavs. Yeah, Marco Fultz, though, man. I really hope he doesn't go out like Greg Oden. Not even, man. At least Greg Oden had, like, injuries. Like, with Greg Oden, you could be like, yo, he had, like, hella injuries. Poor guy. Marco Fultz, his little shoulder situation, like, that's, I don't, man, I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Has any blob? LeVar Ball has been very quiet. I'm pretty sure that was part of LeBron's contract. Like, yo, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm signing with you guys, that motherfucker better shut up. Or I'm going back to Cleveland. LeBron should have came back to Miami, man. I feel like if you put LeBron... On this Heat team, we'd be better than the Lakers version. Of course, I'm going to say that because I'm a Heat fan. Seeing LeBron in a Knicks uniform would be really, really cool, man. Not for nothing. I, I miss. I, I miss. I miss 
the uh, the rivalry the Heat used to have against the Knicks back in the nineties, early two thousands. That was one of the best rivalry in sports. The Knicks and the Heat, man, we used to go at it. The Knicks would get the better of us, but, you know, it, it was still a very awesome rivalry. I'm going to get some water real quick. Alonzo Mourning is the man. I mean, I, I, although I've heard many stories about him being a, a douchebag, but uh, as far as what he meant for the city, uh, basketball-wise, the, the, he is the man. Dennis Johnson of the Celtics, press proof. And his story is crazy, bro. You know, to I think he had like a he had like a like a kidney situation or something like that. He was on the verge of dying. To come back from that and still play at an extremely high level and help us win a champ help us win our first championship in franchise history. My God, bro. Love it, loves the morning. Even though he might be a dick. Nothing but love for the guy. Porzingis, press proof for the Knicks. Three forty nine Clippers, uh, Patrick Beverly. I think LeBron is gonna probably retire as a Laker. And, and do one of those one-day signings to retire as a Cavalier. But I think, you know, obviously those fans have nothing but love for him. Now, you know, after his second departure from Cleveland, he brought him a championship. He brought him a championship, and it's quite clear that management and ownership, they're just not committed to winning like LeBron is. Because without LeBron, that team is... Quite frankly, a joke. You know, at least when LeBron left Miami, we were competitive. You know, LeBron's now left Cleveland twice, and both times he's left, they've they've been absolute garbage. So I think the fans see that, and they, you know, when it's all said and done, they'll they'll have nothing but love and respect for LeBron. Willie Cauley Stein, 99 Kings uh, patch autograph. Oh, D Wade. That's gonna I am gonna cry when he retires. No joke. Oh, who, Zaire, uh, Zaire Wade? That kid looks like a beast, man. I mean, but did LeBron really cheat on you, though? I mean, my thing with LeBron, man, like... That organization never put themselves in a position to win while LeBron was there. Like, like they weren't able to attract, like, any big free agents for whatever reason. 
I don't know, man. Like, I just... I just feel like Cleveland is just an abyss. Like once you get when you know when when you get drafted by Cleveland, it's kind of like, well, your career's over before it even began. Because at least when he came to Miami, bro, not for nothing, but we went above and beyond to surround him with players to win championships, and he was two for four in Miami. Rudy Gobert, 189 Jazz. Really, he should have been 3 for 4, but, you know, 2 for 4. 50%. That's not bad at all. When he went back to Cleveland after winning his championships here, he went, what, 1 for 4 in the finals or something like that? So, I mean, of course I'm biased as a Heat fan. But, you know, I, it's still my personal opinion that the LeBron version in a Heat uniform was his best version. He played defense. He was in the post. He didn't have to, he didn't have to handle the ball that much because we had Dwayne Wade. We surrounded him with shooters. Had a, a, a flexible big man in, in Chris Bosh. It's via the Lakers 349 right there. I think once he retires, like let's say LeBron doesn't win another championship. I think LeBron is going to look back on those Miami Heat years and be like, damn, I probably should have stayed in Miami. If he doesn't win another championship, I think he'll win at least one with L.A. But it's not going to be this year, I'll tell you that much. I'll say it again. Unless the Lakers can make a move for, you know, Anthony Davis or something, they're not making the playoffs. I don't know what their record is right now. I want to say they're like like the ninth or tenth seed. That team is not making the playoffs. LeBron has made the playoffs every year of his career except his rookie season. In case anybody's wondering. That's another thing with, you know, with with the whole Kyrie situation. They didn't have to trade Kyrie. He was under contract. So, like, they, they, they didn't have to trade him at all. But they did. Because why... It's Cleveland. I would have told them, I'm like, what, bro? You're going to sit out a whole year and not get paid? Okay. That's what you're going to do then. Because I ain't trading you. What up, Marcus? You're going to sacrifice millions of dollars to sit on that bench? All right, sit on that bench. Because they got nothing out of that trade. Magic Johnson of the Lakers, press proof. What up, Marcus? Derrick Rose with 89 Timberwolves. My boy right here, definitely balling. It's great to see Derrick Rose balling again, man. When that kid won MVP, I think he's still the youngest MVP in NBA history. Bro, that kid was, oh my God. I've never seen another player like him since or before. Kids, kid was just stupid good, man. Uh, we got Bruce Brown to 99 for the Pistons. Patch autograph. Whatever's closest to filling kids play for life. I haven't checked the website because I'm, I'm doing eBay breaks. But this is the last of the eBay breaks. So whatever's closest to filling, that's what I'll check out. I think Immaculate Football is going to be the way to go if it hasn't filled already. And Kyrie is extremely overrated, Blob. Kyrie is extremely overrated. Uh, Steve Kerr, 
press proof for the bulls insert. <coughs> Not for nothing. Without LeBron, Kyrie's been a loser his entire career. He's never once led a team to the playoffs. And yeah, last year with the Celtics, he missed half. The, he missed about half the season. And they had, you know, what? What they had the number one seed in the in the East. I mean, if that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what will. Oh, probably the best ball handler in the NBA. He can get a shot off whenever he wants. He can, he could put up numbers with the best of them. But as far as a leader, as far as a point guard, I don't want him. Something about him. I, I don't know what it is. But he's just not the guy. He's not the guy. You know what I mean? He, he's a piece. If he's the second best player on my team, I'll take that for show. But he's the leader of my team? Nah. Uh, no. Toronto had the Oh, that's right. They did have the number one seed. Dario Sarek, 349. Sixers. Is, when is Dirk Nowitzki going to retire, man? That guy needs to start just quit already. I mean, I don't blame him, though. Give, you know, keep keep uh, keep cashing those checks, man. If Mark Cuban want to keep paying you. Uh, Brandon, Jason broke an immaculate last night. But it was, let me see here. I'll tell you exactly what he did. It's not on my screen here, but he did immaculate number 13 last night. I don't know what we got left in the store. Let me check. There's four spots left in Immaculate Football, two box number 14. The four teams are Bills, Cowboys, Jets, and Raiders. In Immaculate Football 15, they got six teams left. Bills, Cardinals, Chargers, Cowboys, Jets, and Raiders. Immaculate is what I'm going to focus on first because that's the closest stuff to filling. Playoff football number two at 12. Prism basketball number three at 14. Rookies and Stars football number one at 15. Flawless college basketball at seven. Yeah, Brandon, that was Immaculate, uh, Immaculate number 13 that he did yesterday. 14 and 15 are still in the store. Let's find out, Michael. Get those teams in the store so we can get breaking as soon as I'm done with this eBay stuff. And Jason already sent out the 10% codes last night. So you uh, all you got to do is check your email and use that thing, baby. Box Mojo. Finally, let's see what we got here. No offense, man, but Don Russ is not a fun break to do. Troy Brown Jr. Wizards press proof. Marvin Bagley 349. Kings. There's nice looking cards, man, but 
way too many base cards. Reggie Miller, press proof for the Pacers. Ra Ra, I don't even want to think about that right now. Mainly because I don't know. Hopefully this is the last of it. I don't see anything listed on eBay for the uh, upcoming future, so I'm going to breathe a sigh of relief for now. But you know how that is, Ra Ra. You know how that goes. Next thing I know... We'll end up with like 15 more cases. Yay! But for right now, this is the last of it. And quite frankly, I hope it stays that way. But you know, nobody listens to me around here, Rara. I'm just a pretty face to look at. You know, when, you, when, uh, when I'm doing breaks. Dude, Michael, I think they got a star. They got a star already in De'Aaron Fox. They might just need another one. Kyrie Thomas, Pistons autograph. I mean, that other star could be Marvin Bagley. They still got Buddy Heald out there. That dude can light it up. But yeah, I feel you. I think the Kings are, are a move away from being really good. You know, they need, like, another go-to scorer. There you go, right? Yep, sure, Ra Ra. I'll get right on that. You know, I don't think Kawhi's leaving Toronto. You know, a lot of you guys seem to think that Kawhi's going to leave. I don't know. I don't think he is. I can't explain it, but it's a feeling I have. I don't think he's leaving Toronto. I think he's going to stay. Bold prediction, but it's a prediction nonetheless. Chris Paul, Rockets, uh, press proof. Anthony Davis probably going to leave, but he won't be cheap, that's for sure. I think the Raptors could make the conference finals. Well, given the how weak the East is, they could potentially make it to the finals. They got a nice team out there in Toronto. Steven Adams, 189 Thunder. Almost there, y'all. Imagine if Shaq never left the Magic. Definitely possible, Ra Ra. But, you know, the beauty of basketball is we're, the season's just started. Season's just started, so. I think the Celtics will be fine. DeAndre Jordan to 349 Mavericks. If I'm not mistaken, Michael, uh, he left via free agency. So 
to sign with the Lakers, uh, Shaq. I think. I could be wrong, though. I usually am. I was watching, um, what you call it, uh, Open Court, which is this cool show they have, like, on NBA Network, where it's, you know, players only, like, former players and stuff, talking about different topics of the NBA, and the episode I was watching was, uh, what are the best teams to never win a championship? Zaire Smith of the Sixers autograph right there. And pretty much all of the panelists agreed that the Kings in the early 2000s, probably the best teams to never win a championship. And Chris Webber was one of the panelists. And you could just, you could just see the hatred and just the pain that man felt, especially with like his, you know, his peers are agreeing that yeah, they probably had one of the best teams. And had it had it not been for a referee's you know call, that kind of changed the momentum of the series. You know, could could have been a very different uh, you know story here. But those Kings teams were definitely fun to watch. Steph Curry, Warriors press proof. Gary Trent, 49 Blazers. Uh, yes, Michael, yes, they, I think they did. Oh, man, those Suns teams were pretty, pretty baller. They had Steve Nash, Sean Marion, Amari Stoudemire. Uh, people also forget Josh, um, not Josh, what's his name? Josh, jo no, James, no, what's his name? Joe Johnson. They had Joe Johnson, too. They had this other guy that I can't think of at the moment. But, yeah, those early 2000 Suns teams were really fun to watch as well. Unfortunately for them, they were just soft. The Spurs bullied them boys, for better or worse. <clears throat> and last but not least, a little stack here. To finish this off, mercifully, we got James Harden, 199 Rockets. Oh, Rockets, they're, they're not winning a championship. It's cute that they think they are. And that's it for the break. Woo! Thank sweet Lord Cardboard Baby Jesus. All right, recap time. Our autographs. We got Zaire Smith Sixers. Kerry Thomas Pistons. Bruce Brown of the Pistons, 1099. Uh, Willie Colley Stein, 99 Kings. Jerome Robinson Clippers. Antoine Walker Celtics, Jeremy Lin of the Hawks to 49, Jacob Evans the third for the Warriors to 99, Mikhail Bridges of the Suns, and Jim Barnett of the Warriors. And that's it for the break. Thank you all. We'll get it out to you.